Hey, welcome back to the Window Cleanse. And today we're going to be doing this mill building behind me. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. We got divided panes, we got full sunlight, we got inside and out. And we're going to be using the water fed on the outside. And on the inside, we're going to be doing a 10 inch accelerator with pad over the top and a 12 foot Ettore Reach extension pole. So let's get to it. Okay, this is a great example of downtime, how one problem can lead to another. The epoxy was dried out, and so my brush was spinning. The simple solution would be to just apply some JB Weld. I bought some JB Weld weeks ago. Can't find it, misplaced it. Knew that I misplaced it. Was on my list of things to do to buy some more and to organize the van, which would probably help me find what I had misplaced. So now I'm on the job. I don't have the, the JB Weld, I forgot that this problem existed. I tried some self-tapping screws, which solved the problem, but it punctured the hose that was inside. So now I have water dripping down my foot and my leg while I'm working. So I'm trying to fix the problem, so I, I stop everything I'm doing. I still can't find anything to fix the problem because I had this like elastic tape that you can mend rips and leaks in hoses. I have it somewhere, can't find it. I've wasted a lot of time trying to fix this problem that is a simple fix, but because there's multiple seemingly unimportant things that have happened, it's created a lot of downtime on the job. I'm just gonna go ahead and work with water dripping down my leg, and uh, that's what you do. Really, any water coming out of that brush. Okay. So, what is the problem? What I really need to do is cut this and replace the hose. Just broke my univalve. Okay, so here's another situation where I think I may have cracked the window. I'm gonna go up there and show you, but I think the block on my, my water fed brush uh, slammed up against it. It was two stories up, so you know, the, there's added force there. I told the, actually the office manager, and she said that the owners are gone. I said, listen, just if they want to fix it, uh, just have them bill me. Simple as that. And she was fine with that. So I explained to her what I thought happened. I'm not sure if I cracked it, and she wasn't sure if the crack was there before me. But let me go up and show you. See, standing down there, and I got distracted and just made a careless mistake, I think. It's a quarterly clean. It's my first time after the initial clean. 15 windows. Again, I'm just going to use the accelerator 10 inch and Ettore Reach extension, extension pole, and that's it. And I have a 10 inch high flyer for my handwork. So let's go. I've already got two sides of the house done, but I thought I'd have you join me for the last two.
snapped this in trying to get screen out I just wasn't thinking carelessness so I'm gonna go tell her and uh, see if I can find this piece so this is like their spice patch so it smells like oregano white semicircle even I do stuff like that I'm not in my I'm not thinking you know this is good that this happened because stuff like this can really rattle you mess up your whole workflow and I just switched over back to my accelerator because it just does a better job but uh, if you run into screens that have those tabs you can always leave about half an inch at the bottom so that it doesn't, uh, the clips don't engage. And just make sure that you're level with this sash or whatever you call it. So now I'm like really beating myself up. Like, how could I do that? I'm better than that. I know better than that. What's this going to cost me? I'd rather them fix it, charge me, and move on than them to say oh it's okay no problem and then they never want me to come back and clean the windows again that's the option i don't want it's probably not going to cost me anything but what it will cost me is my is like a clean conscience if i don't say anything so i'd rather not and in the you know there's always a chance that they see it and find it on their own and then, you know, what are they going to conclude? How did this break? Well, who else touches the windows? Did you do, did the guy, was it always like this? Did the guys who installed it um, do this? You know, and then they realize, well, maybe it was, oh, maybe it was the window. Maybe it was the window cleaner. And then they ask you, yeah, I did. Uh, why didn't you tell us? Uh, what are you going to say? I mean, so it's just better just to go tell them and offer to pay for it. I just wish I could find the piece. So I did find the piece. I did find it. And I mean, for cosmetics sake, it'll just stay in there. But I'm still going to tell her and show her. So am I going to make the same mistake again? As yeah, you can see, Someone tried to do that already. That is not for me. So it's easy to start justifying. You say, well, I mean, they've been living without, you know, with a broken frame this long. They won't care if there's another one. They won't even notice. That's not the way to look at it. You start to say, oh, it's the big deal. It's not a big deal. Now, there have been times when I have scratched stuff um, and not told the like, homeowner. So I'm not perfect in this. But I try to I try to improve on my honesty and I try to I do try to to not get into the habit of doing that and and not repeating it. Not making it a pattern. And I really shouldn't do it at all. You know, but in the past that has happened and all you can do is deal with the present situation and just not do it again. Not repeat your mistakes. You hear that breeze? It's so soothing. You know, and, and today I just have so much on my mind. I'm tired and I have too many things going on. And so you're gonna, do you find yourself in that state of mind sometimes? Okay. So here's how that all turned out. So the guy told me, the guy pulled in while I was finishing up. I showed him what happened and I said, well, I can try to fix it or just pay me. I mean, <laughs> just charge me 
for it. And he's like, well, he's like, it should be okay. I was like, I, I could try to fix it. He's like, yeah, yeah, if you get some, some glue or something. So that worked out fine. And then he, he said, do you do gutter cleaning? And I said, well, I don't actively advertise it, but yeah, I do it. And uh, so I sold them on a 199 gutter clean. <laughs> Second story. I found the piece, I put it together, back together, and we move on. All right, so it's been a couple of weeks, it's been um, about a month since I've done these two jobs. Neither one, I mean, the, the mill job has not called me. So the tenants actually don't own the space, so it would have to be the landlord that would call me, so maybe they still will call, but uh, nothing has come of it. And number two, with that house job, I uh, actually went there yesterday and cleaned out their gutters. They were friendly as can be, never brought it up, paid me right on the spot. Best customer, they were the ideal customer. You know, when things go wrong on the job, the best thing to do is just tell the people what happened, what you think happened, and apologize and offer restitution, namely to pay for it. And in most cases, you are going to not have an issue. There's been times where I was pulling double hungs out and I twisted it, uh, the tiltins snapped and snapped one of the, uh, the panes. I did have to pay for it, it was like 90 bucks. Uh, there's times where I've ripped screens and I've had to pay for it, you know, and you learn your lesson and you learn how to be more careful after that. You know, and a ripped screen can cost you 20 to 30 bucks per screen to get it fixed if you, if someone else does it. So, uh, but that's it, you know, just, um, just be upfront, be honest and move on and don't beat yourself up about it, but just learn from it. So on behalf of Window Cleaning Resource, I'm Jordy from The Window Cleanse and I thank you for joining me. Uh, I was glad to show you a little bit something different than the norm but these things do happen if you're um, interested in any of the tools that were shown in this video the links are below check them out get the gear and stay tuned every week Monday Wednesday Friday for new content from window cleaning resource until next time I wish you a good day take care